uh, Dynamo um, to, to insert your connections automatically to your uh, steel, um, to add to your steel mothers. Um, the, um, it enables Dynamo to control steel connection creation, streamlining the modeling of steel buildings in Revit. It can identify similar geometrical conditions for placing standard and custom connections. Um, so basically saying, so you, you can make a selection of the whole, of the entire steel structure you have, and then based on the definition of, uh, of, of logic you have in, in, your, in your script, um, some geometrical conditions are, are being checked. For example, you may say that you want to execute, uh, you, you want to add con uh, your connections to specific profiles only, or you will be checking uh, um, angles between uh, con uh, elements you will, be, um, you will be connecting with your steel connections. Along with the package, uh, you will find several out-of-the-box scripts, which can be driven with, uh, with the Dynamo player. And uh, a typical Dynamo steel connection script starts from a selection of, of model. Then it moves on grouping those elements into potential connection nodes, filter those no filters those nodes based on uh, some criteria that I already mentioned, and then at the end uh, places the connection. Uh, this feature enhances your productivity by automating modeling of steel connections in Revit. So let's have a look at this uh, package in action. So I have a Dynamo, I have a Dynamo script. Whoa. Sorry. Yeah, so I selected uh, one of the available uh, scripts out of the box. I made a selection based on the criteria that, were, that are part of this uh, definition. I was able to generate my um, base plate connections at the end of, um, at the bottom of my columns. The same can be applied for my uh, Apex connections, right? And uh, any kind of actually type of connection that is available in Revit, and in Revit we have 130 different, uh, different connections, can be used with, uh, with Dynamo. Um, Recent, so the package was introduced, I believe, at the beginning of this year. But uh, this week, as you know, uh, Revit 2020.2 was launched. And at the same time, the package was, was updated. We have a new version of the package. Um, and this new version of the package introduces the, the ability to, to read uh, structure analysis results either from the native Revit analytical model or the data stored in the results manager, which can be imported from other applications such as Robot Structure Analysis Professional. So this new capability lets you filter steel connections not only by geometrical condition, but also by structure analysis results, which is extremely cool. Uh, the filtering, so these are basically, these are steel connections driven by structure analysis in Revit right now. Uh, the filtering follows uh, a simple rule. Uh, the user selected force, moment, time uh, is read from mm, the beam uh, column end that is part of any given node that is analyzed. And then it is compared to a range of forces, values 